I just wanted to do a quick review of the X525 quad coupler frame from Good Luck Buy. I received the frame in a very tiny box and I just couldn't believe how small this thing was. Anyway, I had a quick look inside and it seemed to be a little bit of a mess in there with uh, all the screws and, um, and bits, um, you know, in the bottom of the box. Just wondering if all the bits are going to be there. I guess that's that's probably my biggest worry. Uh, I can see that the the big components were fine. Um, anyway, it looks like it's all there. So I spent quite a bit of time putting it together without instructions. And it was actually quite maybe three nights in a row working on this. Um, there was a lot of bits that I had to add myself. I used a lot of extra 3mm nuts and some 3mm screws. Um, so yeah, as you can see I've mounted the ESCs inside the frame. That was probably a bad move. It's because I didn't have the power distribution board which I could have mounted on top. The other thing I did was use the case for the, um, the Hobby King uh, the Hobby King KK board and use that to support the battery which again was only because I couldn't fit the velcro strap in the bottom frame because the ECs were so tightly packed in there. Anyway this is the first fly. I've used the uh, you know the little sphere on top makes it look a bit nicer. So I have done some trimming just in the in front of the garage but this is actually the first flight. Um, I'm really happy with it, really happy. I've just left the the switches all in the in the default 50% position for pitch roll and yaw. Haven't touched a thing. It seems to be flying really nicely. If anything, um, it's a little bit twitchy on the throttle. I mean, there is so much throttle. I, I don't think I've even got maybe 40% throttle and a couple of clicks more, and this thing's going to go shooting off in the air like like a skyrocket. Uh, it seems to be a bit twitchy too, so the dual rates for elevator and roll are set on 50%, your of course is 100%, and it is probably far too twitchy, I think I, I want to do some FPV with this model, and I'll probably turn that down a little bit. Um, look, the battery wasn't full when I started, so it started running low fairly quickly, but i um, really happy with its performance. Uh, I love the Nanotech battery, but lots of power. So, yeah, again, I had a look at Hobby King and they're selling similar frames there. In fact, it's the same frame, a little bit cheaper. So, in another frame, which is I think about $19, again, the only thing I would do differently is probably put the power distribution board. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you'll be back.